Welcome to EpiInfo 7 training. In this video, you'll get an overview of the major functions of EpiInfo 7. EpiInfo 7 is a suite of free, downloadable data management tools designed for the public health community, that is, epidemiologists, public health workers, physicians, nurses, as well as instructors in public health schools who need software tools to perform their typical epidemiological tasks. Whether you're conducting an outbreak investigation, community health assessment, case control study, surveillance, or other data collection and analysis tasks, EpiInfo 7 lets you quickly create forms, customize data entry, and analyze the data. EpiInfo 7 is simple to install. Just download it to a computer or a flash drive and take it with you. There's no need for administrative or IT support to get it installed and running. The system requirements for running EpiInfo 7 are Microsoft Windows XP or above, Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 or above, a 1 GHz processor, and 256 megabytes of RAM. The Create Forms module is where you'll build a questionnaire or form to collect data. When you click the icon, the form designer opens. The area where you build your form is called a canvas, and now it's blank. You can start from scratch with a new project, use a template, or open an existing project. We'll click on New Project, and a dialog box opens. This is where you'll name your project and provide a description. We'll call this Whooping Cough. Now I'll move on to description. Notice that project names cannot contain spaces or non-alphanumeric characters other than underscores. I'll go back and add an underscore. Now I'll move on to the description. This is State Investigation. And the form name is Georgia. When I click OK, EpiInfo 7 automatically starts the project for me. And now I have a blank form to work with. I'll right click on the form. I can choose a new field. I'll choose Label Title. This will be Subject Name. And I must click on the Field Name box. And EpiInfo 7 automatically names the field for me. I'll click OK. And when the field appears, I can drag and drop it anywhere on the form that I choose. If you are working with an existing project, simply click Open Project, navigate to the project, and EpiInfo 7 automatically opens the questionnaire and you can resume work. Just know that EpiInfo 7 questionnaires can have logic control built into them so that you can save time in data entry. The Check Code Editor within the Form Designer customizes data entry, providing many commands here on the right and functions. It enables operators to validate the data as they're entered, auto-calculate fields, provide skip patterns, and deliver messages to data entry users. Once you're finished, simply click Close and Close Project, and EpiInfo 7 automatically saves your work. The Enter Data module is where you'll fill out the form you created in Create Forms and show the existing forms in an existing project. Also, you can search for records that match a particular variable. Click the Open Form icon to get started. In the dialog box, you can either type the name of a project or search for it. We'll select E. coli here and I'll choose the Food History Questionnaire. EpiInfo 7 automatically opens the questionnaire, and I can see here on the left, it is a two-page form. At the top of the page, this is the first of 359 records, and you can see the form has data in it now. If it had been a new project, the form would be blank, so I need to click New Record. And now I have a blank form in which to fill out data. You can also get some data analysis functions by clicking on the line listing or dashboard or map icons. Also, if you need to edit the form, 
You can also launch the Create Forms function from the Edit Form icon. The Analyze Data module lets you manipulate, manage, and analyze data. It offers two interfaces, Classic and Visual Dashboard. This segment looks at Classic Analysis. The data that you're going to analyze may have been collected using EpiInfo 7 or another type of database. To analyze data, it must be read or imported into Classic Analysis. Click the Read function and the dialog box opens. The read command allows you to select a project and or data table to run statistics. The read command is used almost every time you open classic analysis. The rest of the commands and functions will be covered in another video. Currently, EpiInfo 7 can read Microsoft Access, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft SQL Server, and flat ASCII files. I'm going to choose an Excel workbook and navigate to the file. And now the data is ready for analysis. I can do a quick line list. And here's an example of line list in EpiInfo 7. The Visual Dashboard module of data analysis is an innovative and flexible way to analyze data. You can use the dashboard while your investigation, surveillance, or case control study is in progress. Just right click on the canvas, set the data source, Right click again, navigate to Add Analysis Gadget, we'll do Frequency, and here we'll choose City. And now you have an Analysis Gadget filled out in EpiInfo 7. Once you've created all the analysis you need, you can save the canvas with all the generated output. And last, we'll look at the Create Maps module. The Create Maps module shows data from multiple data formats in map form by relating data fields to shape files or through point locations containing X and Y coordinates in various symbols, colors, and sizes. Choropleth, case-based, and time-lapse functionality are the types of map products supported in EpiInfo 7. In the top line of the Maps frame, you can add a data layer or add a reference layer. Once you've created a map, you can save it and use it for future reference. Thanks for your interest in EpiInfo 7. Look for more user support videos coming soon.